Okay, previously um, we had wet the whole area, put in a yellow wash um, over some slight lavender, dropped in a little bit of uh, quinacridone rose in the warmer spots, and now um, I'm going to wet a couple of places and drop in some um, more lavender. I'm not going to wet the whole thing because I don't want some. I don't want. I want. I don't want the blonde parts of her hair, the very blonde parts, to um, to to get the lavender involved there because it will just turn everything brown. So I'm just wetting a couple of places here where I see from my reference photo that her hair is either in shadow and a little darker or it's closer. This is summertime, so the ends of her hair are quite, the outside of her hair where, where it reaches the sunlight is very, um, very light. My lavender is a mix of <sighs> quinacridone rose and um, a small amount of manganese blue hue. Um, the only reason I use manganese blue instead of phthalo blue, because manganese is the hue that they have now, is actually phthalo blue added to white, but it's not it's not really opaque. Is that um, uh, the phthalo blue is so strong, it it just overpowers everything, and I'm forever making a horrible mess out of it. <laughs> so I I try not to. I try not to use it. So here under her, yeah, okay, I didn't wet all these places, but that's all right. We'll just put in some dry color here. We want some of those white hairs to show on the top anyway. And down here we did get a little bit more shaded. All right, right in here. Now, I'm not going to put the purple in a wet wash here because she's got some uh, lighter hairs in among the dark under, and I want to make sure I leave space for those really light hairs. Okay. So we're just gonna do a little negative painting here. You'll notice that when I'm stroking, I try to stroke in the direction of her hair. She's got it pulled up under here and it's going back and up a little bit so that it's not quite flat against her head. So we want to make sure we get those. All right. And it's quite brownish on the top here with a few white hairs showing darker in there darker in there and a few streaks here and here and here unfortunately I don't know how I'm going to mask this I hope I can there's a flaw in the paper can you see it I've never had a flaw in my arches paper and yet I've heard about how much trouble people have had with it 
and this is the first I've seen it, and it's really maddening. That did not show up until I put paint on it. I'm going to have to try and mask it somehow with color. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but we'll figure out something. It doesn't want to erase away. It doesn't want to scrub away. It's just there. All right. I'm going to go back and darken some of the places that I already put the lavender just to adding this lavender to her very blonde hair is just a, a really kind of a neat way to darken up blonde without getting a muddy brown color um, And so now you can see some of her tresses taking precedence here. Now she's got she's got some blonde hairs coming across here, which we may go ahead and add with some. Um, a touch of opaque later. I'm, I'm no purist. <laughs> okay, now the other side. A lot of her hair on this side is quite dark underneath. And so I am going to wet some of these areas. So I can get the color in a little faster. There's some. Listen to me, I can't talk and paint at the same time. Paint mixed here. Okay.